I'm Courtney, and I only know life with food allergies. I had my first allergic reaction before I was six months old, and I have been diagnosed with lots of other food allergies since. I am allergic to four of the top eight. So if you don't know what the top eight are, those are the top allergens in the US, and those are peanuts, tree nuts, soy, and shellfish. Those are the ones I'm allergic to. The other four are wheat, eggs, dairy, and fish. And I'm also allergic to other things outside of those eight. I have experienced anaphylaxis on multiple occasions and not always to the same food. I have environmental allergies, I have oral allergy syndrome, I have eczema and asthma. I was a pretty shy teenager and I didn't go to a lot of social events because I was afraid food would be involved and I was too afraid to speak up about my food allergies. Now, as an adult, I can see how much I missed out on, and I wanna go back in time and tell that teenage girl to just be open about your food allergies. There's nothing to be embarrassed about, and people are generally much nicer than you think they're gonna be. I went over 20 years with one diagnosis we got when I was a kid. So in my mid-20s, I decided it was time to see if there was anything I outgrew and to try and knock off some allergens on that long list of allergies I had. I went to my allergist and we started from scratch. We did a skin prick test, we did specific IgE testing, and then he took it a step further and did a component test to see if I could do an oral challenge. If you don't know what an oral challenge is, it's basically a test you do at your doctor's office where you eat a small amount of the food they think you can eat in larger and larger amounts and they wait to see if you react or you don't react. If you react, you're allergic. If you don't react, then you're not allergic. And I passed one and I failed one. So I passed almonds, which means we have almonds in the house and there's a lot more chocolate I can eat. And I failed one. And even though I failed it, it still feels like a win because I was able to actively participate in the diagnosis of that allergen. You can still dine out and you can still travel with food allergies. It just means you have to do it a little differently and you have to do it with more preparation. When I go out to eat, I always bring an allergy card with me. It's a great way to communicate all of your allergies to the kitchen staff and it makes your dining experience a little more relaxed. For a long time, there were places I thought I couldn't go to because of my allergies and we only traveled to countries where I could speak the language but I became more adventurous because I shifted my perspective on what it means to travel. Instead of focusing on what I can't eat and where I can't go, it's about working around your allergies and finding ways to experience another culture. We went to Qatar and I didn't eat one meal out. We went to the grocery store and had hotel room picnics every day. It doesn't mean I didn't have fun and I don't feel like I missed out because I got to go to a new place. So, just because you have food allergies doesn't mean you can't live a full life.